Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Today we're going to walk through how to get valid SSL certificates using the Nginx Proxy Manager and Let's Encrypt. On your local network, you stand up some local services or you connect to your firewall and you get the little not secure warning up here or in the case of a firewall, maybe you have a self-signed certificate that's not inherently trusted by your, your machine so that you get a non-secure warning page in the browser and then you have to hit advanced and hit continue. So take care of that. We're going to use the proxy manager uh, to get certificates for us from Let's Encrypt and we'll be able to have valid certificates on our local network. First thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and install the proxy manager. To do this, I've already got a file here. So this is the Docker Compose file that we'll be standing up. It's basically just going to be mapping ports 80, 443, and 81. So let's go ahead and make a directory for the Nginx environment. So we'll just do proxy manager, cd into Nginx proxy manager. Let's copy that Docker Compose file over to this directory. So I have that, so now we can just run docker compose, hook dash D, and that started. So if we do docker ps, we should see that we have uptime Kuma currently running, and now we have Nginx proxy manager running. So if I switch over to the browser, we can still see this is running. I'm going to copy this IP address. Here we are with the Nginx proxy manager. To log in, the first time you're going to use example at example.com and change, change me as the password. No, sorry, it's admin at example.com. When you first log in, it's going to ask you to change this information. Um, so we'll just do something silly like testing at example.com doesn't really send any notifications or anything, so I'm not too concerned about that. There we are. So now we can log in with testing at example.com. I always like to test that out before I move on, just to make sure I typed everything correctly, just in case I need to blow away this container. And we are up and running. So the next thing we're going to want to do is add our SSL certificates. To do this, we're going to need an API key from our DNS provider. And this demo, I'm going to be using Cloudflare, but there are multiple services that this thing um, integrates with. So if you if I click on the DNS challenge, you can see a pretty large list of DNS providers out there. Like I said, we're going to be using <coughs> Cloudflare for, for ours. So we'll need to switch over to Cloudflare and set up some domains and get the token. All right, so I'm over here in Cloudflare and the coding of Z domain DNS entries. I'm gonna add a record. It's gonna be an A record. It's gonna have a subdomain, so we'll just use home. And the IP address is gonna be the IP address of my proxy server on my network. And then we'll turn off this proxy status and hit save. And then we want to add one other record so that we can have multiple subdomains of that subdomain. And this is going to be, in this situation, a C name. And we're going to do a star dot home. That's going to go to home dot coding z dot com. And we'll save that. So now we've got our two DNS entries that we'll need to be able to do things on our local network. So if, as we add other services and such, we can make a subdomain of the home subdomain and that'll all work out just fine. So the next thing we want to do is get our token. So I'm going to switch over and create a token. I'm going to edit the DNS, edit zone DNS template. Now you can change this to be all zones if you only have one domain that's fine 
in this situation, I only want it to affect coding of z.com. I'm going to hit continue to summary, create token, and then I'm going to copy this token. And this token will be dead by the time this video gets published, so it won't work. I'm not concerned about you seeing it. We can put in our domain. So we're going to have home.codingofz.com, and then we're also going to have .home.coding of z.com. So we get our two domains in there. We're going to update our token. And I found with Cloudflare, it needs propagation of, of 120 seconds. It seems to work most of the time. You can leave that as default and give it a try. If it errors out, then increase this to 120 seconds and give it another try. And then we'll let this run. All right, we're back and that completed. The one thing I did have an error on is I had left my email address as testing at example.com. Apparently Let's Encrypt does not like that email address and kept on failing. Um, once I changed it to my valid email address, everything went through. And as you can see, I have a SSL certificate for the both of these subdomains. And so now we can actually set up our services to use these subdomains. So let's do Uptime Kuma first. So you can see how that works. And what we'll do is we'll go back to host and proxy host. And we'll add a new host. And we'll use kuma.home.codingz.com. Whoops, I messed that up. Kuma.coding. And this is just going to be standard HTTP. It's going to go to 192.168.8254 on my network. Yours may be different. And Uptime Kuma uses port 3001. Next, we'll click on SSL and do the SSL certificate we have. And we'll go ahead and turn on the force SSL and the HTTP2 support and hit save and now we can check that out by clicking on it and let's and here we are we've got a valid certificate going to kuma.home.codingoz.com now you can also set up um, SSL for this domain if you want um, in this situation what you can do is switch over to here and let's just cat out our docker compose file and what you can do is actually use this name of the container. So if you had other containers uh, within this Docker Compose file, you could just use their container names instead of having to point to an IP address. I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. So we'll go to add another proxy host. And this time we'll call, we'll just make this one home.coding oz.com uh, you could we could make it nginx.home.codingoz.com whatever we want to make it there we'll leave a standard http that'll be that and we want that to go to port 81 same thing switch over to ssl we'll go ahead and force it support save and now when we go to here now we're hitting the login page of the nginx proxy manager so you can just continue to do that for as many services as you want to expose and you'll have valid certs. These will get renewed when they need to be renewed before they expire and you're good to go. This can also be used for services that are exposed publicly as well. Thanks.